Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a tool which will enable you to reduce the size of your video without losing the quality of the video. So as you all know, I create lots and lots of video for YouTube and sometimes the video files tends to get very large. So in those cases, I use this tool, which is called FFmpeg, which is a command line tool to reduce the size of my file on my Windows operating system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install FFmpeg. And then I'm also going to give you a small demo how I use it to reduce the size of my videos. So let's get started. So FFmpeg is a free and open source project consisting of vast software suites of libraries and programs for handling videos, audios, and other multimedia file and streams. So let's see how we can download and install FFmpeg on our Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for FFmpeg Windows. And the first link which will appear here will be from ffmpeg.org but we are not going to go into this website. We will scroll down until we see the result, which is zeranoe.com. And you need to open this URL, which is ffmpeg.zeranoe.com forward slash build. I'm going to put the link in the description also. So you can click this link directly, or you can just click uh, the result uh, link. And once this uh, website is open, you can scroll down. Here you will uh, see uh, three options. One is the version, other is the architecture, and the third one is the linking. So in the version, you need to choose uh, the version, which is for now 4.2.2 at the time of making this video. This is the latest version, which is the nightly build but we want the stable version. So this is the stable version at the time of making this video. And then in the architecture, we are going to choose the Windows 64 bit. And in linking, we are going to choose the static link. And then click on the download build, which is going to start the download of the zip file, which will come with all the necessary FFmpeg libraries. So I will wait for this download to complete. Now, once this zip file is downloaded, I'm going to go to the folder where this zip file is downloaded. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this zip file. So let's extract this zip file. I'm going to just right click on this zip file and I'm going to say extract all. And let's extract this zip file into our C directories. So this is my local C directory and I'm going to extract this uh, zip file into my C directory and then I'm going to just press extract which is going to start the extraction of this uh, zip file and once this file is extracted let me just minimize uh, the browser and uh, all the other windows and here you can see after extracting uh, this uh, zip file into our C directory this kind of uh, directory is uh, uh, visible, right? You can change the name of this directory. For example, I will change the name of this directory to just ffmpeg. I will remove the version and everything from it. So I will just rename it to ffmpeg here. And then I'm going to go inside this ffmpeg directory. So I'm going to go inside this you will be able to see uh, this kind of folder structure inside the FFmpeg uh, folder. And what we need to do next is we need to go inside the bin directory where all the executable files related to FFmpeg are present. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add this path for the FFmpeg executable file to our system variables so that we can open this ffmpeg using our command prompt. So I'm going to just copy this path, which is here. 
and then I'm going to just click on my Windows icon which is going to open uh, this Windows interface and then I'm going to go to the settings here and in the settings I'm going to go to the system and in the system I will search for ENV and you will see two results here we are going to click on the second result which says added the system environment variables and this is going to open this kind of window and now I'm going to click on the environment variables so just click on the path variable you can just uh, double click on this path variable or you can say edit which is going to open this uh, edit environment variable interface and here you can say new and then just paste the path which you have copied until the bin folder so in uh, my case it's c forward slash ffmpeg forward slash bin folder okay i will press enter and then click ok and then once again click ok and then once again click ok and i'm going to close uh, all the other windows now let's see how we can use ffmpeg on our windows operating system so let's say i have this video which is sample.mp4 and I want to uh, let's say reduce the video size using ffmpeg. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the command prompt. Let's type cmd here which is going to show you this result which is command prompt and first of all let's uh, change the properties here so we can see uh, the fonts in a bigger uh, font size and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the path where my sample.mp4 file is there or whatever uh, path you want to give wherever your uh, media file is there you can just uh, copy the path of that directory and then cd just write cd on command prompt and then the path of the directory where your mp4 file or whatever video or audio file is there and once you are inside that directory, I'm going to just write dir to list out all the files which are present inside that uh, folder or directory. And you can see I have this one file which is called sample.mp4. So to use ffmpeg, let's just, uh, just give this uh, command ffmpeg and then press enter. And once you uh, give this command, it's going to show you this kind of output so it's going to give you the version of ffmpeg we have installed the version 4.2.2 and then it's going to give you all the options which you can use with ffmpeg so as i said we have our sample dot uh, mp4 file so i'm going to once again to convert this file into a smaller size, I can uh, just say ffmpeg uh, and then I'm going to just give this option or flag which is minus i or hyphen i and then uh, the name of your video file which is sample.mp4 in our case and then the destination file. So the name of the destination file which you want to uh, create. So let's say I'm going to just name it as sample and then underscore small or something like that. So sample minus small, let's say, okay? And then press enter, which is going to start this uh, process of, uh, let's say, reducing the size of uh, our video or whatever. You can convert your videos from MP4 to another format. You can extract uh, the audio files you can change the resolution of the video using FFmpeg. So there are many uh, things you can do with FFmpeg and I'm just showing you only one uh, use of uh, this FFmpeg uh, library. So once you give this command, you will see the process and once this process is done, we will see uh, the output also. You can see inside our uh, videos directory this is already created but don't stop this process until this uh, process is finished so you will see the proper output in your uh, 
uh, folder wherever you have uh, used this ffmpeg command. So I will wait for this process to complete. And now you can see this process is successfully finished. And then we are going to go to the directory where we have created our output file. So you can see this was the input file which we have used and it was around 289 megabyte file. And after we have used the ffmpeg command on that, the new file which is created is about 17.5 megabyte file. So we have reduced the size of our mp4 file. And now I'm going to just double click on this file which is going to open this file. So this is how you can install and use ffmpeg on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.